Oh, you kicked out the Earth from the solar system. Sorry. Well, don't be sorry. I know it was just an accident. But imagine if it happens for real. Well, that will be the topic of today's video. Hey friends, let us explore this kicking scenario by answering an outstanding question. What if Earth got kicked out of the solar system? Zoom in! So, is there any way Earth could get kicked out of our solar system? Well, it might surprise you, but there is a tiny whiny chance of it happening in reality. Yes, my dear friends, the key element that could make this possible is gravity, a force responsible for maintaining the perfect balance of our solar system. And as we know, the greater the mass, the stronger the gravity. So, our sun, which makes up around 99.75% of the solar system's total mass, emits a stronger gravitational force that holds everything together in orbit. And that's where the problem lies. Yes, my dear friends, if another star as big as the Sun comes close to our planet, its gravitational force could disturb the balance of our cosmic objects, sending everything for a toss. Fortunately, there is no other star as big or bigger than the Sun that seems to cross our path. But unfortunately, a star named Gliese 710 a red dwarf with about half the mass of our sun is shooting towards our solar system. Though the odds of this star entering our solar system are very low, but by any chance, if it passes anywhere closer to our orbit, it could surely throw the Earth out of its orbit and eventually the solar system. And if that happens, the first thing we will notice is the sun getting smaller and smaller with each passing year as we go away from it. And then the next thing we will witness is that without the sunlight, photosynthesis would stop, wiping out some of the plants and forest. Yes, fortunately, some larger trees can survive for decades without it. But eventually, sooner or later, they will meet the end as well. Later, within a week or so, the temperatures would begin to drop below zero, putting most living organisms on the verge of extinction, including humans. And within a couple of months, the ocean surface would freeze over. But it would take another thousand years for our seas to freeze solid. Until then, the ocean's interior will remain liquid due to the heat emitting from the Earth's core. Because of this, the organisms living in the deep ocean that doesn't need sunlight will continue to thrive for billions of years until the water completely turns into ice. And our beautiful green planet would be nothing but a barren wasteland floating aimlessly through space, becoming what we call a rogue planet. But fortunately, there is hope. Yes, with the technological advancements happening around us, we are sure humans will predict any approaching threat thousands of years in advance. Of course, Nothing can be done to divert the star from its route, but we could at least make the necessary arrangements and build huge artificial complexes powered by geothermal and nuclear energy. And within these bubbles, humans would be able to adapt, grow and thrive again. And if we are lucky enough, not to collide with other planets and asteroids or get absorbed by a black hole, 
we will continue to travel for thousands of years until we find another star to orbit around. Or I'm sure by that time, traveling through space would be easy. So there is a chance that humans will leave Earth and settle on some other planet, living with memories of the pale blue dot now floating alone in space to whom once we called Mother Earth. It's trivia time! Did you know Greece 710 is currently 62.3 light years away from Earth in the constellation Serpents? Yes, it is projected to pass near the Sun in about 1.29 million years. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>